What's up guys? Welcome to the smoking vlog. I got the old barrel house smoker back here uh, and today I'm going to show you guys smoking two chickens on there. Um, if you guys see my last video on that thing I smoked a three pound bone-in cowboy ribeye steak. By far the best steak I've ever had in my life. So I'm hoping for the same results today in this. So I'm going to show you guys lighting the charcoal, getting this thing going, warming it up, putting the chickens on there. And I'll just take you along the process of smoking in this barrel house smoker back here. Guys, if you get a chance, go check out this video I'm going to put right here. I want to be giving one of these away. Um, the deadline ends uh, January, February, March 17th. Um, that's actually my daughter's birthday, St. Patrick's Day. On St. Patrick's Day, we'll be giving one of these smokers away to one of you lucky guys out there. So I'm not sure when I'm going to post this video, but it's going to be the next two days or so. Depending on when I get this video posted is how many days you'll have left to do that. So on the 17th, that's when we'll be closing it off and picking a winner. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys getting all this going and I hope you guys like this vlog. Hope you're having an awesome day. Smash that like button for me if you would or push it or tap it, wherever you want to do I really enjoy seeing all those likes uh, on the videos. You guys are awesome and I uh, hope you enjoy this vlog. Okay, I didn't have any newspaper, but I did have some computer paper, some printer paper. That works just as good. I'm going to show you guys lighting this up. Uh, if you're going to use this barrel house smoker, they recommend you using Kingsford. I recommend Kingsford anyways, regardless of what you're cooking with. I just think it's overall, it's better. Hey, Gabby. Gabby wants in on this video. Okay. It's a real windy day today, so I'm, on, I'm actually on the south side of my house. Trying to block as much wind as I can in my driveway. Um, I don't ever really smoke in my driveway, but today... I was like, hey, I better come on the south side because it's really windy out here. Tell you what, this lighter is terrible. This one ain't much better. Put two together, we'll get it going. Okay, guys, well, I got my charcoal going. It's about five or ten minutes out from being ready. I'm going to show you guys prepping this chicken. I'm, gonna do, I'm, not, I'm smoking a whole chicken, but I'm going to cut it in half, and we're going to use this barrel house smoker as a table. I'll show it to you guys. All right, what we're going to do here is set this down. Got my old trusty cutting board. It's going to put it right on top of there. All right, now I got a probably, it's what, five pound chicken? That's bigger than five pounds. That's probably, yeah, that's right at five or six pounds. And I got my buddy's Cajun Spice. And I'll put a, a link to his website down below. This stuff is awesome. It's like an all-purpose. Uh, you can use it in chili, what he's doing right there. You can use it on chicken. Use it on whatever you want. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this bird in half. We ain't got our meat chickens ready to butcher yet. So I you see these things. These things grow fast. I had to, I had to purchase this one. Well, I'm going to cut right down the middle of it, and we're, then we're going to hang it that way. Nothing to it. Unless you got a good old hickory uh, knife that's nice and sharp. It's got, look at that character on there, a little bit of rust on there, no big deal. I'll, I'll put a link down below for uh, these hickory knives too. Now you're gonna be generous with this. Don't be shy. All right, now for the fun part. I'm just gonna stick these hanging hooks right up through here that bone right there and we're just going to hang them chickens up just like that just like that okay guys the charcoal is ready to go in the smoker i'll show you putting that on and then adding a little bit more charcoal and i'm going to use some pecan pellets today you guys can use whatever you want you can just use the charcoal you can use hickory wood wherever you want I want i'm choosing to use some pecan pellets so i'll show you guys that but first i'm going to move this chicken to my other table yep that's it there's my other table. You guys like that? Okay, then I'll, I'm going to put the charcoal in there. I'm going to set this on top. Then I'm going to hang the chickens in about 10 minutes. And I'll show you guys that process. Got to spread it out evenly. Top of it, too. This allows for a hotter temp and a longer cook time. I'm gonna go ahead and put my pecan pellets on there too. Get my meat probe out of the way. 
You're just gonna set this right on top of there. Okay, guys. Like I said, in my last video. Uh, this this has a this has an elevation controller right here that um, controls the airflow in there. Um, for my guidelines, for my elevation, it says put on one. So we'll start on one, um, and we'll go from there. I found out if you cut your chickens in half like that, um, they'll they'll cook faster. So I'm gonna say, from what I found out with my smokers, and we're testing this out, second time I've used it, I saved about an hour cook time uh, cooking the chicken. So we'll see how it goes today. You can see this is already heating up pretty dang quick and it's only been on there for less than two or three minutes. So when it gets, I'll probably just go ahead and hang them now. All right, I'm gonna hook this old chicken right here without even touching it. Look at there. Just hang it in there. Boom. Hook. Just hook it in there like that. Then you're going to bring it over here and you're just going to hang it. Let's see here. Let's hang it on this side. Look at that. That thing works great. Hold on, guys. I got to get some Instagram pictures and put this out on my Instagram. Hey, if you guys aren't um, following me on Instagram, it's keeping it Dutch with two H's at the end. All one word. Keeping it Dutch. Look at that hanging in there. Isn't that awesome? You can hang ribs, turkey, whatever you want, and you can hang a bunch of them. It comes with like 10 hooks. All right, let's close this up now. Turn that probe on, 52 degrees. All right, we'll come back. I actually got to run into town for a minute like usual. Um, I'm going to let this smoke for the next hour without even checking it. Come back and I'll show it to you guys. Hey, guys, I just got back from town. It's been about an hour, 20 minutes, hour and a half uh, since I left this on. Uh, since I left the chicken on here and it's right at 225 ish and the meat is at reading 157 so 170 uh, 168 I'll pull it off and what I'll what I'll do with it I'll wrap it up in foil and let it rest for a little bit but I'm gonna go ahead and peek in here and show it to you guys real quick and one thing as soon as I got out of the car I could smell this chicken I was like oh my gosh that smells awesome you can see it's holding strong right at 225 can you get that on there? Where is it? I don't know if I can read it. 157. Remember that little hook right there? You can set that right on there to hold it. Wow, those look awesome. I can't wait to cut into one. All the juices are just dripping right up on there and the moisture is coming back up in there. Oh, this is going to be great. Let's close it back up. All right, guys, so you've seen the chicken. It's been on an hour and a half. I'm thinking two-hour cook time on this. Like I said, that's one of the reasons why I cut them in half because it's a quicker cook time. That's how I like doing it. And uh, the daylight savings is today. It's going to be darker later, but you can already tell it's kind of an overcast maybe. Let's get back to barbecuing. This is reading like 171, so I'm going to pull this off, bring it over here and wrap it up in some foil, and let it rest for a minute while I go clean my cutting board. Then I'm going to come back out here and cut up for you guys. So let's get this open. Wow. I wish, I wish you guys could smell this. Got my little hook thing. Pull this one off first. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. It's hot. Got to be careful there. Oh, I got the meat thermometer out of there. I'm going to wrap these up. Then I'm going to go clean off my cutting board. Then I'm going to show you guys tearing into these things. Look at that. About two hours, I still got plenty of charcoal to probably smoke another four or five hours. Or it's just juices. Juices all in this. Wow. Look at that. Holy smokes. Just look at that. Come right off the bone. Man, you can just see that tore right off, right off there. It's so moist. That's... Guys, I didn't. You seen? I didn't inject this or anything, and it's just, just moist as can be. <laughs> That's crazy. This is crazy. That little barrel smoker right there. Is absolutely amazing, man. That spice too, mm, good seasoning. Um, 
I'm so impressed. Second time I've used this smoker. I'm still not going to do a full out review on it. I just wanted to show you guys cooking the steak and I'll show you guys cooking the chicken. Just how easy it is to use. Um, I'm going to do a few more cooks in before I give it a, uh, my final review. Good or bad, whichever way I'm telling you right now. The, 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 last, the first two I've used, uh, the first two smokes I've done, I'm, I'm impressed. I mean, I'm highly impressed. I mean... Um, I had a two-hour smoke on this chicken right between 225 and 250 right in there um, And it right now is pushing 250 after two hours and I showed you a little bit ago It's still got plenty of charcoal in there to do another four hours. I bet but I just wanted to throw a, a video up showing you guys this because we're having this giveaway this week So don't forget to go check out that video. I posted up there somewhere out in the video I might post it right now. I can't remember uh, if I said post it earlier or not But click that video follow the directions and get a chance to win this smoker. We're giving it away um, March 17th on St. Patrick's Day. So you guys need to get entered uh, entered to win it. Daniel from Arms Family Home says give him one away too. So go check out Daniel. Uh, get in his uh, get into his contest too. It's the exact same guidelines I got. So you guys will see. Watch the video. And you guys got a chance, two chances to win a smoker. Heck, you might win two of them. I don't know. But Gab even Gabby's impressed. Look at her. Gabby, you like it? You like the chicken? She wants more. Look at the mirrors perked up. She wants some more. All right, guys. Hope you guys like this uh, cooking vlog today. Uh, smoking Monday, I guess. I don't know. Uh, if you guys did, hit that like button for me if you would. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel. Uh, and don't forget to go enter that uh, in that contest to win one of these uh, free smokers. $250, $300 value, guys. It's, it's a good, good smoker uh, to give away to you guys. All right. Talk to you guys later.